Hello everyone, hope you're well and safe. My name is Christine Francis and I'm a lead facilitator with Mowgli Mentoring. I have a question for you. Have you ever reflected upon the difference between change and transition? And if you have done so and found very subtle differences, you are absolutely right. Change is what happens to us. It happens very fast and most of the time it is outside our control and we might not be okay with it. However, transition is an internal process that takes place in our mind. It's a much slower process, however, a very powerful because this is where our control lies. The Bridges transition model is a very powerful model by the consultant William Bridges that addresses transitions in three stages. This model has inspired us to use it as a mentoring tool to support both our mentors and mentee navigate these difficult times and transition more successfully within the change of COVID-19. The first stage of a model is about endings. Endings, losing, and also letting go. However, it's also about bringing forward our learnings, our experiences, and what serves us in this new situation. The second stage of the model is about the neutral zone. This zone is governed by lack of clarity, confusion, and anxiety. Not a very comfortable place to be. However, there is a possibility if you look at things from a growth mindset within this stage and be creative to reassess and look internally and externally to see what needs to change, you will be able to create the new beginnings, which is the last stage of the model. New beginnings is all about high energy, is about openness to learning and renewed commitment. It's also about adaptability and integration within the new normal that we want to create for us and for our mentees. If you are interested to know more about this model and its power within the mentoring framework, please click on the blog below that is written by one of the many amazing mentors, Salma Yasir, who had the opportunity to use this model within her relationship with her mentee, and she shares her experience. Thank you for listening and hope to see you soon. Stay safe.